Welcome to Studio 10. Welcome outside to our Jet Deck here at the Fox 10 Studios. We continue our Community Safety Net series focusing on partner agencies of the United Way of Southwest Alabama. Now, one of those partners is the Drug Education Council, and they're getting ready for Red Ribbon Week and Drug Take Back Day. Virginia Guy is the Executive Director. She joins us now on the show. Virginia, great to see you once again. Thank you. So let's talk a little bit first about this partnership with United Way. How does the United Way benefit the Drug Education Council? Right. We've been a partner agency of the United Way for a number of years, and it creates a, a safety net of organizations that all work together. So really, when you support the United Way, you're supporting a group of agencies, and we're very well connected. We work together to serve the most you know, needy people in our community. So let's talk about a couple of ways that you are doing just that. Let's start by telling folks who don't know what Red Ribbon Week is all about. Right. Red Ribbon Week is a national drug prevention program. And this year it's more important than ever. You know, we know that drug abuse, um, addiction, overdose deaths are on the rise. Mm. So we really need to start talking to kids young and we need to make sure that we get those prevention messages out and that we prevent them from developing the disease of addiction. Is some of that potentially related to the coronavirus pandemic, the use of, of drugs? Absolutely. I think with people being, um, you know, more uh, isolated, mm -hmm. you know, there's um, also with just the stress and the uncertainty that's in the world right now. You know, we want to make sure that none of us, but particularly our children, aren't using alcohol or drugs to cope with that stress. We need to make sure that we talk with them about appropriate ways to deal with their feelings and to deal with stress and to, um, you know, so that we can develop resilient, strong young people. They're going to really need to be as we face this world. Absolutely. So another thing that's coming up is the Drug Take Back Day. When is that day and what does it entail for our viewers out there? Right, that's a, that's a very important day. It's um, Saturday, October 24th and the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency from across the United States is doing Drug Take Back. And what that is, is you can safely dispose of unused, unwanted or expired medications. This way it keeps them from getting in the hands of people they shouldn't be in, but it also keeps them out of our environment. So it keeps, you know, we don't want you to flush any of that, those uh, drugs. It gets into the water supply. We want you to drop them off. In Mobile, it's gonna be at the Mobile Police Headquarters from mm -hmm. 10 to two. But at the DEA website, you can plug in your um, zip code and find the drop-off location closest to you. So as you're cleaning out your closets and cleaning up your house, make sure that you're cleaning up your medicine cabinets and that you're keeping all of those unwanted, expired, or um, unused medications out of our water supply. I actually had the opportunity last year during Drug Take Back Day to take the opportunity to take advantage of this because we had some stuff for a while that was stored up and we didn't know what to do until we talked about it on the program. Right. So learn what to do so really is a great program if you have some of those things that you need to drop off get rid of so you can protect those around you uh, and, and then once again before we go here this morning let's just briefly touch on why it's so important to give to the United Way not only to support you but all the all the other people that they work with as well right we're a con we're a connected group of agencies mm -hmm. that work together you know most people that are in the highest need in our community don't just have one problem you know, they may have a drug addiction, but they almost may have some other abuse or some homelessness or some low socioeconomic status. You know, we can we can connect them with several of the agencies, you know, in order to be able to get the services that they need and to make the families healthier. All right, so keep those things in mind. Red Ribbon Week and the Drug Take Back Day. We'll have more information on both of those on our website, the Studio 10 tab at fox10tv.com. Also, we will have a link to the Drug Education Council so you can learn more about all that's going on and the United Way as well. So lots to take in there this morning, but your uh, contributions do make a big difference. Virginia, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Thank we you for it. We appreciate right, it. All right, Chelsea. Thank you. All right, Joe, thank you. Well, coming up, Matt Barentine has a look at your cooler weather forecast next.